Hi guys, welcome to another layout process video using my stash kit for October and this is the second layout I've made with this kit and I've picked out some papers prior to filming and I started with this and ba well, based the whole page around this one piece of paper from Amy Tan. I think it's from her Stitch collection and it's kind of like a watercoloured washed out minty world map and I just love it. I loved it the moment I first saw it released and I have a few sheets of it that I've hoarded so I'm glad that I've finally used one. Um, I stitched around the edges with gold thread off the camera which you didn't see. I really had trouble stitching so I'm glad you didn't see that because my sewing machine is playing up tension something shocking um, so <laughs> I'm glad you didn't see that. Anyway, I've got these two black and white photos of me and my son taken with a selfie stick. I know I'm one of those people. I use a selfie stick, but I love it because I can capture photos of me and my son and it's fun. So I just used one of these chipboard frames, which I think is from the Maggie Holmes Open Book Collection. And I'm glad I cut into that because I have like three packets of those. That is what is so good about these stash kits is that you can get stuff used up. No more hoarding. So I'm using this piece of vellum, which I think is from Studio Calico Brighton Pier. Um, no measuring, just trimming around it to create a layer. And I know that I want the photos at the bottom of the layout, and I know my title is going to be You and My World because of the map in the background. I really thought that would be appropriate, and he is my world. He is my only child, and I just love him to bits, so I thought that would be an appropriate title for that. And now I'm just fiddling around. You can see to the left I've got a pile of embellishments that I picked out that I thought I might use. I don't use all of them, of course, but that's just sitting there ready. I tend to do that off camera. I know that means you don't see me fiddling around playing with everything, but it would take me yonks. So I'm trying to eliminate like half an hour videos. Um, so now I'm just using a few of the papers to layer behind that photo with the frame, which is the one where we're both looking, and the other one I thought I'd just leave to the side, which is actually the one I like the most, to be honest. I didn't frame that one, though. Um, and now I'm going to play around with what I want to do with my clustering and my embellishing. So I'm pretty sure that butterfly did make it onto the layout. I love those butterflies, and it doesn't bother me that they are sequiny and butterflies because I don't necessarily only use boy stuff this album's for me and I'm sure my son won't care he's not going to really mind is he so I also have these gold um words stickers from their foam from Maggie Holmes and I have a few packets of those and so I'm going to get some used up I've used two I think three two or three so far in the layouts I've done um, since I filmed this video I've got four done so I think I've used two or three um, which is great and I'm using one of those tassels which have appeared on every single layout because I love them to bits. They are from the Wonder Collection but you can also get some from the Maggie Holmes Confetti range and I think Maggie Holmes is bringing out some more in her Shine Collection which are absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to need like heaps of packets of those. So now I'm just trying to fiddle around and see what works in this corner cluster I've got that um, glittered star which was on a toothpick and I wanted to use that and I'm just making things work I guess seeing what fits where this is the fun bit of making a layout I feel I love doing this so now I've got I always tend to cluster and this is probably just my style I tend to cluster, cluster in the left hand corner and the top right hand corner um, I feel that that just brings the eye into the photo. Um, that's just how I guess I work. Um, we all have our own um, way of doing things, I guess, but this just seems to be the easiest way for me to get a layout done. And it, to me, it's visually pleasing, but we all have different tastes. So that's what I was trying to get out of that long-winded way of saying that. Um, so now I'm just working on both of those clusters and... I added a label um, sticker with from the DIY shop collection, which I absolutely love. I had like 10 packets of those and they are dwindling. There's hardly any left in my stash now because I use them so often. And now I'm just getting the well, letters out to spell world because I want to put you on my world. So I'm going to do a mixture of these gold stickers down the bottom 
really it kind of reads you are my happy world but yeah whatever it's just it's supposed it, do, it works either way so it doesn't bother me I, and I think I use the black thickers up the top to spell you are which I don't often do I don't I don't often do a title where I put it on the top of a photo and the bottom I this is kind of one of the rare occasions I have done that and I felt like it worked so um it's always interesting to try new things so I'm just sticking those down I know a lot of people I see use like a ruler or some clear packaging to help the, guide them to put their titles down but I'm pretty impatient I just tend to stick and then I'll move them if I have to which doesn't always work in my favor so maybe I should take their advice but I'm a really lazy scrapbooker I hate things that take too long um, I'm not a fiddly fiddly person so I like to just get going so now I'm using some of the liquid glass glue or it's not really glue but it's an adhesive from close to my heart very similar to glossy accents to stick all my embellishments down um, I don't know why I don't stick as I go I, tend, I guess I don't like to make the commitment until I'm happy with the placement of everything and that it looks balanced and then I'll go back and stick everything down I tend to only place adhesive in the middle of my photos anyway so I can kind of tuck things in and under which is what I do so it doesn't I can move things around and stick them later it doesn't really bother me so now I'm adding some tiny word stickers these ones are from craft market and I have a gazillion packets of these so uh, they end up on pretty much every layout and I don't mind because I'm trying to be good and stash bust because I can't justify buying any more stash until I have used up some of what I have and I have been shockingly bad at actually getting any scrap scrapbooking done unless it's for the scrappery so these kits have inspired me to get out some goodies and get stuff done and get memories on pages and pages in my son's book because I really want to have that um, somewhat finished by his second birthday which is in February so I've almost finished his first year book which I plan on doing a little bit of work on tonight um, so I can't film at night time so you guys don't get to see that unfortunately but I will have a flick through on my channel at some point which I have done in the past but it's not finished so you'll get a finalised flick through um, when it is finished which I'm sure you will love because a lot of people have asked me about it so now I'm writing with my Uni Ball Signo pen on that DIY shop label and that is a fantastic pen for writing on any um, dark surface because it's like very I don't know the word for it, it's just like it's so smooth and it will write so easily on there. Um, now I'm adding some of these My Mind's Eye wood dots. These were so awesome when they came out and I had, I had to get like 10 packets of them. So now I'm using them. <laughs> I've got, they've been, I'm trying to put them on every layout. But um, they're like subtle but they're quite big too so I tend to tuck them behind some things so you don't get that quite um, intense like well in your face. <laughs> And this layout's pretty much done, I think. I'm just making sure everything's glued down. I had to add some more glue to the butterfly, I think, because it's quite um, 3D. So now I'm pretty much finished, and you'll get a close-up view of the layout at the end. I hope you've really enjoyed this process video. Um, and I have two more filmed, which I am yet to share or edit and share. But I am bound to have at least another five more videos before October is finished. So I hope you're enjoying all these process videos for once on my channel. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. Bye.